This is BMW's electric concept car based on its existing i8 platform. It's got all sorts of added bells and whistles. Holger Hanf, you're going to explain what's different about this. We put an entire new interior into this car, primarily a new seat configuration, which allow us to have a more comfortable conversation uh, if a car such as this is in autonomous drive mode in the future. The most important change to the car is obviously the dashboard, the panorama display in this car, which is a 21-inch LED display uh, we put on this side of the car. But it sits uh, in an ergonomically comfortable position to be used by both the driver and the passenger in the car. When I put the car into auto mode, I flick a switch on the steering wheel and the, the steering wheel distracts itself or kind of pulls itself further inward. I basically move my hand across these tiles very comfortably. This is also something you would have to learn at first, but we believe it can get very comfortable after a short amount of time. You get into certain functions such as media, navigation, communication for a video call or a connection to your smart home. When I hover over one of those tiles with my hand, I can confirm with a button on the steering wheel and then I'm in the specific mood and, and use now the full screen for navigation. Now this is another electric vehicle. Is this a big statement by BMW saying the future of our industry is electric? I would say it's a big statement. It's basically a statement of continuing on a path that we've set with the i3 and the i8. But do you think the majority of cars sometime in the future will be electric? A large percentage of cars will be electric in the future. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very promising technology. Batteries are getting better by the day and um, we're seeing kind of a minimized uh, space being occupied by batteries, flat battery packs and so on. And I think many other car manufacturers are jumping on the same bandwagon.